All right. So cool. What's going on, dude? You just got some good news recently. You want to share with the people what the good news is? Yeah, I landed an enterprise AE gig. I've been in sales for seven years now. This has been the path that I've been working towards literally since I graduated college. And I'm starting my new job on Monday as an enterprise rep. I'm really, really excited for this. And and you're coming from what kind of a role? From mid-market. So it's a big step up. Awesome. And that was, was not an accident. That was totally by design, right? You would set your sights on that? I've been working towards this for years. Like I knew even when I was in college that I wanted to sell enterprise. I wanted to be selling six, seven figure deals. And <laughs> it took a while, but I'm, I'm finally here. Yeah, right you are. So the, this interview process and the focus on this goal or the direct focus on this goal appeared inside of a couple of sessions of us working together, but it wasn't the first thing. Talk about how you, about what we were first working on and what that initial focus was. We started working on tonality for the most part when I came here and we did talk about sales process with a couple of deals that I was working, but my intent was to learn how to really have a lot of conviction behind my voice. Um, and this goes well beyond sales. This is just for communication with people as a whole. Like I'm an extrovert. I love being out there with people. And I know that this is the strength that I want to continue leaning into. So I came to you initially so that I could develop my general speaking and communication skills, but obviously that translates into sales and it translates into interviewing. And so we just worked on whatever was most relevant in the moment and what would get me the most value right now. Yeah, I think we definitely got through all seven skills of tonality. What was, let's say the most surprising thing that you discovered or the first thing that comes to mind that was the most surprising thing coming out of our work together? either professionally or personally or both? A lot of it was on the tactical side of things where we just talked about strategies to help me slow down, not seem nervous, like I'm talking way too fast and don't know what I'm talking about. But there was also the strategic aspect of it where we talked about how having more competence in whatever it is that I'm doing is naturally going to lead to better tonality because now I actually know what I'm talking about and I'm not BSing. So it was a little bit of both. Um, I would say the majority of the value in the beginning came from the tactical stuff because I could apply that right away. But then the strategic stuff to, help, stuff to help me really build the right foundation for all this. It sounds like when you say competence, it's not that we were making you more competent at something that you were currently doing. It's more like, hey, so cool. Remember, you're extremely competent in this area. Is that about right? Yeah, that's right. And then it's... a it was also about telling my story in a way that's authentic, but is also really going to resonate and practicing that story over and over again. So that it really just sunk in. Now I can just, I can hop into an interview right now without any preparation and just crush it. Yeah. That was a really interesting session. Just pulling that out of you and being like, so cool. Tell your story. What is it? Why, why is this so attractive to you? Why are you on this path? Why has this been a huge focus for you for your entire career? And what, do you remember what we ended up discovering? At least my language of saying like, this is, this is what it is. Well, since this was a jump from mid market to enterprise, I really had to paint the picture about why I'm ready for it because obviously they were interviewing other people who had direct enterprise experience. So it was an uphill battle compared to those who I was going up against, but we just framed it in a way to show not only am I capable of doing this, but I have done it before. And here's what I'm going to do to make sure that I can ramp up as quickly as possible based on what I've done in the past. Anybody can say, hey, I'm going to ramp really, really quickly, but you helped me uncover all the right things that helped me tell that story. In a way that felt like it had integrity. It was totally was no lies. I wasn't spinning awesome. any of it in a false way. It was all real. You just dug it out of me. Just asking the right questions. And you're the and you're the guy for it, dude. Like you've got the amazing the amazing story and the amazing perspective on what you're doing and why and what it means to you. And as you've seen, when you share that with people, but starting first and foremost with yourself, it becomes magnetic. Like, had you ever looked or asked yourself those questions before around your relationship your relationship to sales, why you love it so much, and mm -hmm. also investigating the other stuff that we talked about, how it feels to be in that other zone 
in, in your <clears throat> other life, which of course you can share about, I don't want to steal your thunder, but had you, had you investigated that stuff and explained it so clearly for yourself prior to us working together? In a disparate way, yes, where I knew intuitively why I love sales. I've thought about it quite a bit and how it applies to all the other parts of my life, but I didn't wrap it into this one cohesive story. When you're on an interview, that's what you have to do, right? We can't just ramble for two hours with all these disparate thoughts. You got to get it neatly packaged. So that's where we tied it all together. It's awesome. So what obviously landed a great role for you that you're going to crush that's super right for you. What did you notice outside of the workplace through crafting your story, asking yourself these questions, getting to know yourself a bit deeper, and then building the skills to line up, making that impression on the world every time that you open your mouth? You know, that's what we're still working on. That's why I'm going to continue working with you. But really the the confidence of knowing that I was able to jump up a level in sales by telling my story that really translates to everything else, right? Because like, <laughs> this might sound cocky, but now I know I'm the shit, right? And it's not just at <laughs> work, right? You, you you get that feeling everywhere. Yeah, own it, dude. You've got results. You love what you do. You're great at what you do. And you work really hard. Why not own it? So right. what else, I guess, just help me understand specifically, like, what were you seeing outside of work that lets you know, oh, hey, I've uncovered something or I've I've leveled up either what others were reflecting back to you or you having a different experience in the world. That's a question I'm going to get to answer much better because I'm moving to New York in a month, as you know, so I'm going to be in a new situation where I'm going to be exposed to brand new people constantly. Most of the past couple of months, I've been around the same people who already know me. So I'll definitely be able to get you a much better answer in a month or two. Awesome. What was the most challenging thing for you about everything that we were working on? Staying consistent with it because you got to practice it, right? You could, you could learn all these things and on my session with you, I can practice it the whole time, but you also got to apply it on a call. And when you get on a call, if you get derailed, it's really easy to get back into your old habits and go back into autopilot. Mm -hmm. So that's been the most challenging thing, just maintaining it. But also that's why setting up regular sessions with you and then continuously reminding myself about what we went over, listening to the recordings and going back and practicing over and over again. Like that's absolutely crucial. It's a practice staying right. in touch with that version of yourself that owns it, that knows and doesn't hide from and isn't embarrassed by their qualities, their power and is not afraid to step into that role of leadership, whatever circle that they are in, starting first and foremost with their voice and with their energy. So yeah, right. it's a practice. That's why I like to work with only A players because they're hungry and you help them find something out and then they just go and relentlessly implement like you've done. All right, so, so cool. Last couple questions for you. Who would you recommend to come and work with me? Either personality type or somebody looking to get a, a certain something done? Mm -hmm. The easy answer is anybody who works in sales, but I think it goes well beyond that because look, everyone's hiding behind Zoom all day and a lot of jobs don't even require communication where you're sitting behind Excel or whatever it is, right? People are really struggling with communication. And so it's turning into one of the highest, if not the highest leverage skills that you can build. If you're an incredible communicator, you can get anything that you want. And this is something I believe everybody should be investing in, but especially people who, who work in jobs where they aren't getting exposed to people, where they aren't getting that practice in communicating every single day. Cause skills are, you know, it's like a muscle, right? It's going to go away if you don't work it out all the time. So since everyone's been working from home for the past four years behind their computers, it's necessary to sharpen the skill. I really think everybody needs to learn it, but especially those who don't get a practice every day. Well said. Who would you say should not come to work with me? Either a type of person or somebody who's after a certain result? I guess someone who genuinely hates people and doesn't want to get better at their communication skills. And even for those people, they would still be well served by doing it. Because if you're a human, you've got to communicate with people. And people are the way to get what you want in life. So you may as well, no matter what, develop this skill. Yep. Dude, I love it. All right, so cool. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you smash your quota, hit President's Club at this new next level. You're so right for it. 
deserve every single second of it. Dude, lean into it. And stoked to hang out with you when you get to New York City. Absolutely. All right. Stopping this.